During the pandemic, you've been allowed to order a cocktail for pickup or delivery along with your food. A bill moving through the Florida legislature would make that permanent. Eight on your side's Megan Gannon joins us now live in St. Petersburg. And Megan, alcohol to go has become very popular with folks in the last year. Real convenience. Yeah, it's been real convenient for a lot of people, especially for those who don't feel comfortable maybe going back inside of a restaurant. They've been able to get all of their favorite drinks and food items and be able to go home. Well, of course, we know business owners here in St. Petersburg, they've been able to get a taste of what it's like to sell to go cocktails during the pandemic. And they say this bill, by making it permanent, and not only helps out their businesses, but of course, it gets customers more options as well. The bill is similar to the executive order Governor Ron DeSantis implemented last year at the beginning of the pandemic. They lifted that law originally back when COVID first hit and it, it really sort of saved our business in a way. If passed, it will permanently allow businesses like the Studio Public House to sell alcoholic drinks for pickup or delivery. Uh, I think it would benefit us greatly if, I, if they're not just uh, having to order a soda or a tea. It just increases your market, I think. The bill states the drinks would have to be less than 32 ounces and be properly sealed and packaged, something the owner of Intermezzo Coffee and Cocktails is already prepared for. We have all the bottling equipment and the labeling and whatnot because we invested in that in the beginning of the pandemic, so so we're, uh, we're ready to go on it. And customers think this will be a benefit, especially for small businesses who have struggled this past year. I think it'll definitely boost their sales for sure, yeah. I mean, who doesn't like drinks with their food, right? Now we know this bill did pass earlier this week in the Florida House. Now it's going to go back to the state Senate where it will wait, it, await its final approval. Once it is finally approved, that's when it's going to go to the governor's desk. And if he does sign this bill, this will go into effect on July 1st. Reporting live in St. Petersburg, Megan Gannon, 8 on your side.